Now we're going to talk about linear inequalities in two variables. So we've talked about linear equations in two variables. The only thing different here is that we're going to be now dealing with inequalities instead of equations. Now let's start off with what we already know. If I ask you what is a solution, what does that word mean? We have to know what that means um, before we can actually work with them. So if you'll remember, a solution is really just an answer or something that makes the, um, something, write that out, uh, that makes the math sentence true. Okay, so now our problem here is saying we're supposed to determine whether the ordered pair 4, 1 is a solution or an answer or it works in this mathematical sentence to this linear inequality. Well, when I look at this point 4, 1, remember the 4 is an x value and the, y, the 1 is a y value. So we should be able just to plug these in in place of x and y and hopefully it'll make this mathematical sentence true. So let's try that. If we said negative 2 times instead of x we're going to put in a 4 plus 3 times instead of y we're going to use 1 greater than or equal to 3. We need to find out if this is true. So here we have two, negative 2 times 4 would be negative 8 plus 3 times 1 would be 3 greater than or equal to 3. Well negative 8 plus 3 is a negative 5 greater than or equal to 3. Is that a true statement? No it's not. Because it did not make the statement true, that point 4, 1 is not part of the solution. But there are things that are part of the solution. So let's just try another point and see what happens. What if we said is the point 0, 3 part of the solution? Well, we would again start with our, our inequality and plug in our x value and our y value. So we would have negative 2 times 0 plus 3 times 3 greater than or equal to 3. And let's see, negative 2 times 0 is nothing, so 3 times 3 would be 9 is greater than or equal to 3. Now that is true, so 0, 3 is a solution to that. But now let's think about what we've done before with inequalities. Um, before, whenever we worked with inequalities, we would have things like something like x is greater than 3. And we would draw it out on a number line and say, okay, here's 3, and that would be all of these numbers that are bigger than 3, not including. We'd use a parenthesis. When we're dealing with inequalities in two variables, we have a very similar situation. It is not just one particular answer. It is a whole bunch of values. So, um, for example, if I were to say, what about negative 3, 1? Is that a solution to this inequality? Well, let's try it and see. If we said negative 2 times negative 3 plus 3 times 1 for the y value greater than or equal to 3. So negative 2 times negative 3 would be 6 plus 3 times 1 would be 3 greater than or equal to 3. 6 plus 3 would be 9 greater than or equal to 3. Yes, that is true. So we actually have two solutions that work in this inequality. When we go and start learning how to graph inequalities, we have to keep this in mind that with equations there is, you know, only one set of answers or we end up getting a nice straight line. When we're dealing with inequalities, there's a whole bunch of answers, many, many more than in just an equation. So we're going to have to shade to show that and in the next example we're going to show you how that works.